Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is something new I thought I'd try on my channel and we'll see how it goes. I've never done one of this before, but I am going to review Jessica Simpson's open book. And if you guys like this, then maybe I'll do more book reviews. We'll see, I don't know. But anyways, um, a little bit about this is um, this book came out February 4th, 2020. And I got it for my birthday, which was February 11th. And um, uh, I pre-ordered the book, so I think it came around the 6th or 9th, I think. It might have came the 6th, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, a little bit about Jessica Simpson, if you don't know her. Jessica Simpson, she started off singing. So um, she was signed to Mariah Carey's old record label. And they basically tried to make her a combination of Mariah Carey and Britney Spears. And then, like, for her second album, they, like, mainly tried to push her into being a Britney clone and she had no control over that and they wanted her like to lose like a bunch of weight and like I think they wanted her to weigh 102 pounds because she mentions in a song that they wanted yeah yeah it was 102 because she mentioned in a song about like she's like I don't need to be 102 blah 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 and she even mentions in the book too <laughs> Um, anyway, so, like, she hasn't really released much music. She did release, like, six songs, like, with this book, but it's not on stream, and it's on YouTube. And, like, when you get the Audible version, it's on Audible. And I really want to listen to the Audible version because she reads the book to you, and I would just love to, like... Oh, my God, I think that'd be awesome. And one thing I love about this book is called Open Book because she's, like, an open book, but it also gives you instructions to, like, open books. So I really love that. That's, like... I don't know, I really love that. So after, she was also on Newlyweds, the, real, the reality show where she was married to uh, Nick Lachey from the band 98 Degrees, which I really only watched the show for her. Like, I never really cared for him. I always thought he was, like, kind of, like, rude and, like, I don't know. He's just, like, rude and just didn't show much interest in her. And, like, I always thought, like, he was, like, just kind of, like, using her. And, like, I don't know. If you go back and watch the show, like, ugh, he's just... Not really a great person, to be honest. But I think when she does talk about him in the book a little. And I actually seen an article today where he mentioned that he's not going to read the book because... Something about... What was that? He's not going to read the book because... Oh, because, like, he knows his side of the story. And it's like, shut up. Like, no, nobody cares. Like, nobody's talking about Nick Lachey. Like, no, like, stop. <laughs> but she also has a um, billion dollar fashion like billion dollar company called the jessica simpson collection where she has like clothing and like jewelry and shoes and i've actually like looked on her website i never even i never like bought anything from there but like she has like good prices like they're not bad at all they're not like ridiculously sky high they're like actually like affordable so i think they're nice um so yeah i think that's pretty much like, oh, she also done movies, too. And my first introduction to her was actually The Dukes of Hazard, which I didn't even know, like, the version she was in was, like, a remake. Like, I didn't, I knew nothing about the TV show until my dad, like, mentioned it because I think he watched it with us. And he mentioned something about, like, he preferred the old boss hog, like, the fat one. Because, like, in the 2004 one with Jessica, like, there's, like, a skinny boss hog, and one thing I love about the Dukes of Hazard is that Willie Nelson is also in it, and I'm a huge Willie Nelson fan, and him and Jessica are actually, like, good friends, too, um, they still, like, talk to this day, and they text each other back and forth, and they call, and they still call each other by their Dukes of Hazard name, so he call, he calls her Daisy Duke, and she calls him Uncle Jesse, which I really love. And speaking of which, I got a Willie Nelson autobiography book today at the library, which I can't wait to read. So that should be exciting. But anyway, about this book, I'm going to try to tell you about this book without giving too much away. So basically, with every autobiography, like they kind of tell you about like their childhood, their career, and blah, blah, blah. And this book is actually like the book that got me back into reading because I used to read so much when I was younger, but I kind of like just fell off of reading until I got this book. And now I really want to read like every autobiography ever. I also just got done Mariah's book, The Meaning of Mariah, not too long ago. So if you want to see a book, um, if you want to see a review on that, let me know. So for Jessica's book, um, 
my favorite parts about this book um hmm uh, da, 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 da. oh there's one funny part where she's like in labor and um her dad's like her dad comes in the room and he's like you know why you've given me the courage to divorce your mother and then she's oh and she's like oh my god i'm the reason my parents got divorced like i thought that was a really funny story um and she basically basically kind of outed her dad in the book like she doesn't like really say like oh my dad's gay but she basically like um so her father was a pastor before she was famous and then he became her manager like and then he also managed ashley which is jessica's sister like music career and jessica actually fired him i think she fired after the whole like divorce incident because like she just didn't want him to have control anymore so um she fired him one night over dinner i think which i thought was really funny so yeah there's that um hmm there was also another story i want to tell you okay oh one thing um i was gonna tell you something bad about no okay i'm not gonna say that i will say one thing if you're not really a fan of like religion and god like she does kind of talk about god in this book really because she is a christian and she still is a christian to this day so she does talk about god and if you're not really a fan of that like it's she doesn't really like shove it down your throat kind of thing but she she does mention him so like i once no no i won't say that that's going to be an issue for for you like reading the book oh my god i don't know what these stains are but they're, they're bugging me so um yeah I don't really have anything bad about to say about this book really because it is such an easy read and like it's a book that you're not going to want to put down when you read it I promise you um I'll just flip to like a random page and I'll show you like how like thick it is um so basically like here's like a page of it which isn't like too bad um it has like like a little over 400 pages which isn't bad at all um like i said i've read this book a few times and i absolutely love and adore it and i would highly recommend like if you're like a big jessica simpson fan or if you like a couple of her songs or if you know a couple of her movies or like you just want to like read the book for fun i would highly recommend this i was looking at the reviews online and like there's a lot of good reviews like four out of five stars four four point four stars out of five I give this book a 5 out of 5 because I wasn't really bored with it at all. The only part I was really bored at was the childhood part, which is like basically every autobiography. I've kind of like, eh, because I don't really like care much about the childhood. I'm more into like when they like, how they got like discovered, like how they got discovered being famous and like the behind the scenes drama and like the meaning behind the songs like that kind of stuff is what i'm interested in so the beginning of the book is kind of what like i was like kind of like Ugh, okay can we just like get on to like your career and stuff but like her childhood childhood is actually interesting something like a couple few things traumatic happened in her childhood which i'm not going to spoil because like i really do want you guys to read this book so i'm not going to give get in too much of it she also kind of talks about like how she was on and off with john mayer a lot which i didn't really know that and i didn't really know this that she had like an addiction to diet pills like at a really young age too and she was also an alcoholic for like the longest time and which she really covered up well i might add um i didn't really know she like drank at all really um, until she had that interview on Ellen, which she mentions in this book that she was drunk on L the Ellen interview, and you can actually Google it. I think it was in 2017. I don't know, just Google Jessica Simpson on Ellen, and she's like wearing like a black dress, and then you'll see. But I personally love that interview, but like looking back at it now, it's kind of sad. But Jessica actually posted on Instagram um, yesterday, actually, that she was um, four years sober, which I'm really happy and proud of her for that, and I, I'm just glad she's in such a better place and i really hope she does get back into music she has a deal with amazon where she like can make like tv shows and music and uh movies so i'm really hoping we do get music because she did an interview where she's like she was working on music so i'm really hoping like it's been too long it's really been too long so yeah 
So I think I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know if you want to do more book reviews. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.